good morning friends today we are going to discuss about the segment routing in the earlier section we saw why do we need segment routing what are the advantages it has over the LDP and the RSVP so today's section we are going to see what is the exactly segment routing is and in the subsequent sessions we are going to go deeper in the segment routing so stay tuned on the channel to get more update on the segment routing let's see what is the exactly segment routing so this is kind of source based routing so if you remember how exactly rsvp work if you work on the rsvp then it's very easy for you to understand how exactly segment routing works it is the source who decides where packet needs to be sent in the general case of PLDP it is destination based routing means what is that exactly destination based and source based means let's say on the R2 if packet hits with the LDP label top it will do the lookup and then it will add the label based on that destination so at each and every hop that lookup will happen and packet will finally reach to the destination but in the case of segment routing the source router so hidden router is going to decide which path he needs to take based on that one he will route packet towards the destination very simple analogy we can make it with the help of our luggage which goes into flight so if we are taking multiple hops then we will see this kind of label will be fixed on our luggage and then based on that one it will go from one hop to other other to then the destination so same is the case for the segment routing it will build the label stack it will push on the packet and each and every hop the operation will perform and that packet will finally reach to the destination so segment routing is source based and like RSVP we don't need to maintain these states on the intermediate routers just state will be maintained only on the head end or if we are using the SRPC then SRPC that's what this protocol makes very scalable and generally in this scenario of data center it is very very scalable because nowadays data centers are also implementing the segment routing in his network segment ID in the case of MPLS forwarding you can say that is just the label value nothing else so if we configure those segment routing then we will get multiple options like path option dynamics and uh, explicit if you use the RSVP you know these terms very easily and then control plane we are using ISIS OSPF and then BGP or the ESDN controller and the data plane side for the MPLS there is no change only change is the on the routing protocol side but if we are going with the SRV6 then yes it is completely different and new changes are there so in this scenario we will see how exactly packet will route to the network using the segment routing let's say I have PE1 and PE5 middle router is PE3 P3. if I want to route packet from PE3 to PE5 based on the shortest path so obviously it will go via 
this way towards the PE5. So in this scenario only single label will be sufficient because based on those sRGB and all those index values this value will be same on each and every hop. by considering that we are maintaining the, maintaining the sRGB value all across the network same sRGB value. And here P1 will push this level on top of that one and P3 will do the PHP penultimate hop popping it will remove the top level and it will send it to package to the P, P5. So single label for the shortest path. But it may be the scenario in my network that I need to consider the lowest delay path. So let us say that this from PE1 to PE2, PE4, PE3 and PE5 is the lowest delay path. So in this scenario multiple level will be pushed on that top of level like what we seen earlier in the case of flight baggage scenario multiple labels were put it on your bag so same is the scenario here top level we called it as a active segment two four zero zero two is the adjacent seed label between p one and p two so once that packet P1 process that packet he will remove that he will say that okay this is connected to me so he will forward it on this interface. Then this is the label for R4 then PE2 will they do the penultimate hop popping he will remove that R4 label. Once label reach to the R4 he will see that 24004 agency seed label belongs to this particular interface he will remove that label and he will forward it to the p3 p3 then p3 will do the penultimate hop popping and he will forward it to the pe5 let us see here so p2 remove the label for r4 R4 remove the agency seat label, P3 did the PHP penultimate hop popping and for finally it forwarded the packet to the PE5. This is how label pushed on the packets. So this is 16,005 is for PE5. Then we need to cross the link between P4 and P3. So agency, agency label for P4 that is 24004. Then we need to identify which router is going to push that agency label that is P4. So we need to put that prefix it for P4 that is 16,004. Then we need to cross the link between PE1 and PE2, hence the level 2400. That is what segment routing is called as a source based routing. And as we saw in this diagram, we do not need to maintain any state on the intermediate routers, only the hidden router or SRP will maintain those states. If we see the what, what are the changes happen in the routing protocol or data plane side to implement those segment routing. So all those services are or overlay technology will remain same. Only changes are there in the IGP or BGP in the ISIS, OSPF and BGP side. But forwarding plane for the APLS remain same. In a nutshell we can say that 
only control plane has been changed and forwarding data plane remains same. So, let us see we have configured the segment routing on the R3. So, here we can define the prefixed absolute, absolute or index value. So, once you configured or commit that configuration R3 will generate the update and he will send it to whole network. He will send the sRGB information. So, in the subsequent lectures we will see how what exactly sRGB and how exactly it works. He will send that segment routing global block value, he will send the index value and the agency seed attached with the all routers. Let us say R1 received it and he runs the uh, SPF algorithm here, strict SPF. Based on that one, he will figure out using the sRGB plus index value, he will figure out that okay, label value is 16003 and he will push the same value to the MPLS forwarding table. That is it from the basic segment routing side and stay tuned for more advanced information. Thank you very much.